In the year 1082, a man looked up into the sky and foresaw a future where you could have your own custom link tree without having to pay any fees and the only limitations were determined by the confines of your own imagination. That day has come, my friends. So we start off in our code editor in an empty project directory and we make a new file called index.html and use the exclamation shorthand to set up our boilerplate HTML code and we change the title to say James MacArthur. The next thing we do is open up a style tag and in here we use the asterisk selector to select everything. We use box sizing of border box, default margin of zero and default padding of zero. Next I'm going to open this up in a live server and then in the body I'm going to open up an image tag with an empty source tag and an alt equals to background followed by a section tag with a div inside and another Another image tag with a source equal to blank and an alt equals dp. Following we're going to have an h2 with our name again and then another div filled with anchor tags with empty hrefs. I'm going to duplicate the anchor tag three times for three links and now I'm going to come to the CDN package and copy this top link into the meta information here. All links are in the description. And then I'm going to come into Google Fonts, select my Google Fonts so I have Poppins and Syrah and copy this link tag directly after into the head of the document. Now I'm going to copy this font family into the asterisk selector and next I'm going to come into any social media and find the link, open the image in the new tab, copy the link and paste it into the second image tag just here. Now I'm also going to come into this Unsplash website and find a picture of my like and repeat that same process opening it in a new tab and copying that link and pasting it into the source code here. And now I'm going to start writing out some styling, starting off with the body and a height of 100 view height, a position of relative, a display of flex and a flex direction of column. Next we select the H2, this will have our second font family as well as a font weight of 600, text transform of uppercase and a color of white and this text shadow. After that we have the image inside the body which will have an object fit of cover, a position of absolute, top, zero, left, zero, height, 100%, width, 100%. Next is the section. It's going to have a display of grid, place items, center, position, absolute, inset, zero, overflow, y, scroll. After that we have the section div, which has a padding of 100 pixels, 10 pixels. Then we have the section div image, which has a width of 100 pixels, aspect ratio 1, border radius 50%, and a box shadow of 0, 0, 8 pixels one pixel light blue. Just up here we have the section div that has a display of flex, a flex direction of column, a gap of 10 pixels, a width of 100%, a max width of 600 pixels, a margin of zero auto, a padding of 10 pixels, justify content center, align item center. Finally we have the anchor tag which has a display of flex, a width of 100%, line item center, justify content center, a border of 1.5 pixels solid white, a padding of 10 pixels, color of white, a text decoration none, gap of 20 pixels, a line item center, border radius 4 pixels, and a transition duration 200 milliseconds. Finally we have a hover, background, white, color, hashtag 0, F172A. And finally, the AI font size 1.3 em. Very last is the icons. Copy that, paste that in here. Then paragraph tag tech dot same here and same here. Now we just copy the links into the href, and there's our completed page. To host it, create a new Netlify account and click add new site. Deploy manually. Copy, upload, and congrats. There's your link tree.